ho, 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 ho. Look what I have. Christmas decorations. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Christmas in California. Don't hate me. It's 57 degrees and I'm freezing. <laughs> but I thought I'd share a quick video since I was outside. There's Frosty. Hey, Frosty, how's it going, boy? You must have seen a lot of things. Huh, Frosty? And then we've got Santa. And there's his sleigh with the kitty toys and a train and a teddy bear. There's Santa. Ho, 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 ho. And your hat's kind of falling off, Santa. I got to put that back on. Let's see if we can get to it. And then over here, we have... Well, I don't guess we don't have Rudolph. We have one of the two. Prancer and Dancer or something, I guess, like that. <coughs> Let's see if I can fix poor Santa's hat over here so we can keep the effect going. Anyway, this is my front yard. I know, I know they're hokey. I pulled them out of storage last year. I've been keeping them in storage for years and years. We used to put these up every year in my house when I was growing up. There's Frosty, another Frosty. Hey, Frosty, how are you doing? Yes, my neighbors know I'm crazy. Well, actually, they don't know. So, <laughs> I thought I'd show you guys my, my, my um, display. And I have solar spotlights outside. Ta-da! Like eight bucks. And they don't work amazingly great. But, what do you, oh, shoot, poor Santa. Oh, gosh, you can't see anything. Santa, stop. Let's get your hat out of your... There's Santa. Hi, Santa. I have been sick, you guys. Sick as a dog. As you can still hear my voice a little bit for the last, oh, almost a week. I was dead. I thought I was going to die. Laying in bed, coughing up and hacking up like a cat. I'm trying to hack up a cat ball, hair ball or whatever, but... Oh, I feel so much better now. I feel like dancing and singing. In fact, I have been kind of dancing and singing around the kitchen. And it's cool because it's just the cats. They don't care. So I wanted to point out that these are really 1950 decorations because they are from the 1950s. These were my parents. My dad got them from like some catalog, National Geographic. No, not National Popular Mechanics, I think and the patterns and he put them on plywood and painted them and who knows what but santa claus there santa he's a little small santa is at least 65 years old because my sister is 65 this year and she said santa was around when she was before she was born so there they all are i want you guys to say hi santa hi frosty Hey, everybody. I went and took a package. I noticed on my doorstep and to the neighbor around the corner. And they have all those inflatables. It's crazy. Just amazing, amazing display. So different from what I have. So, um, since I'm here and I'm in a really, really good mood, let's just kind of look around and see what's new in the garden because people like garden videos. My succulents are looking amazing. Look at those guys over here. Hey, succulents. I've only gotten into succulents in the last year or two. They are so amazing. I love these plants. You can almost not kill them, even though I've managed to kill a few. Brand new front door. i got to repaint it, I guess, again. Um, but I've been having so much fun with these succulents. I was out here working in the garden a week or so ago. And here's a basket of succulents that are just kind of sitting outside, hanging around, waiting for the sun even though it's not much sun, but to give me some, give them some light because, you know, there's not a lot of direct light. Parsley, look at that parsley. That's some of the best taste in parsley in the world, I've been told. I grow great parsley, so I'm told. Okay, the backyard. Who's back here? Oh, look. Hey, him. Hi. You're on. He's out of here. And look at all the birds. Look at all the birds. Oh, they disappeared. I've been putting out bird feeder stuff. That's out of my bedroom window because when you were when I was sick, see here I got a bird feeder. When I was sick, I didn't want to do nothing. You know, sleep is about it. But you know how it is. You, you say I'm gonna read. I'm gonna watch, catch up on some movies. No, I just wanted to stay there and sleep and try to just do nothing. So I would stare out the window, which is great. Except my bird feeder was just completely out of bird feed, 
And I felt like crap. I couldn't get up to go do it. And it was raining. And I wanted so bad to put the bird feeder stuff out there. So as soon as I felt better, I came out and put feed for the birds. And damn it, if they haven't been like going through a cup of that stuff a day. Oh, look, there's Ariadne. Hi, Ariadne. Did you guys see her in the basket? They get out here and they think it's so great. Hi. Let's see if she jumps up and runs away because, like, she knows there's people around. I don't know what it is with these cats. Oh, hello. Hi. What you doing? So what's going on in the garden today? Now, see, she's a very friendly cat for me, but if I get close, she knows... She thinks something's going to happen. Like, maybe I'm going to give her her flea meds or something. So, let's see what happens if I get closer. Hi, sweetie pie. How are you doing? Can you say hi to the audience? Oh, there she is. Hi, Ariadne. What's happening? So, tell me the gossip. Oh, she wants to know why I'm not over here petting her. She's sitting on my zucchini, which I think is all gone. We got peppers. Look at December, what is this? December 2nd, December 3rd, we got peppers. She's trying to climb on my lap here. Oh, let mommy up. Oh, look at these blackberries. I understand that this is a really good time to buy bare root blackberries. Oh, believe it or not, I'm winded. Um, oh, look, here's, here's one under here. Oh, look at that. Needs to be wiped off. Oh, it's got a little stuff on. Let's get that off of there. I bet that's yummy. Mm -mm -mm. Gosh, that's good. That is one heck of a good blackberry. That one looks a little old. But still got blackberries. Strawberries didn't really do much. I'm kind of letting them go. Here, <laughs> tomatoes still growing. Anybody ready? Radishes. My carrot, man, I was going to eat this for Thanksgiving and I forgot. There it is. Let's just keep it from getting bruised. See if we can make it to Christmas. More tomatoes coming up here. And over here, there's still some peppers. Uh, I think that's eggplant. And, of course, the trees don't have anything. Here is my bush outside with the grapes. Oh, boy, look at the birds. I don't know why they hang out here. I mean, I know I've got bird feeders, but I also have three cats. But whatever. I'm going to get all this netting down off of these trees once the leaves all completely die. Some flowers coming in from this bird feeder. Anyway, let's see. I don't think there's much else to see. I've got some nice pretty flowers coming in here and there. Um, you know, it's kind of a winter, winter garden. And there goes a cat. She says, hey, come and talk to me. Hey. I actually have a little makeup on today. I said, I'm getting up and putting on a little makeup at least. <coughs> um, it's been a really good last couple days. Not only because I've come back from the dead, but... Uh, <laughs> And you guys have all been there, so you all know what I'm talking about. But not only that, I caught a psychic. I caught him good. I caught him for reals, like 100%. And he don't know that he's been caught because, of course, he's not really psychic, right? So I caught him. Hey, Robert. And um, I can't really release anything yet. But it's good. A couple people, I've told him about it. And they're like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> so it feels real good. Um, also, some other cool stuff are happening. We're starting to get pulled together the Monterey County Skeptics um, Skeptic Camp. That's January 4th and 5th. If you're anywhere in the area of Monterey County or you'd like to be over here in Monterey County in January, expect weather about like this. God. Listen to him. This is meow, 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 meow. <laughs> anyway, so if if you're going to want to come out this area, <coughs> please let me know. We have a full lineup. We have Mike Darsulix coming all the way from Chicago. 
and he's going to stay the weekend here. And we have Bill Patterson from the Santa Rosa area who's going to do Skeppardy with more of a science kind of focus to it. Anthony Parkanis is coming from Santa Cruz. Uh, we have uh, Mick West, the conspiracy theory um, rabbit hole kind of guy who just came out with a book. He'll be here doing a conspiracy, talking about conspiracy theories and he's going to be talking about wildfire conspiracies. Can you believe it? I tell you. Paula Lauterbach is, Lauterbach is going to be here all the way from LA and she's going to be talking about uh, Hollywood conspiracy theories you would not believe. She says they're the craziest conspiracy theories you can imagine. Uh, oh, I think it's titled you think you've heard the the most craziest uh, conspiracy theory ever. Hold my beer. I think it's what it's called. So she's going to be doing a talk. Um, we have Don Frazier, uh, Fisher, who's an uh, a adjunct professor from CSUMB. And he has credentials going on for a couple miles. <laughs> um, I'm not sure <laughs> I can really explain what he's going to be talking about, but it has something to do with it. Can learning be as good as sex? And trying to get people to uh, want to learn. He's doing something with a pedagog pedagogy. And we have Milos. Um, oh gosh, I don't have his name right in front of me, so I'm going to mispronounce it. He lives up in Gilray about an hour from here. <coughs> he's a science communicator. He's been all over uh, on uh, traveling on cruise ships, teaching science to people. I think he's been through the Panama Canal like 40 times or something like that. I'm hoping for my first time someday. Very interesting guy. He's going to be talking about science education. Um, Mark Edward will be here doing a some uh, mentalism. Arlen Grossman will be doing quote, uh, questionable quotes. And uh, Kathy McKenzie from Monterey County Skeptics is going to do a little introduction about how she became a skeptic. It's going to be really fun. Um, we've got almost completely 100% new speakers. Oh, my arm's going numb on me. <laughs> uh, almost 100% new speakers. It's free, though we ask for donations. And it's going to be fun. So, you know, if you think you can find a reason to come out to Monterey, just look at our weather. I mean, I'm freezing, but I think there's an awful lot of you people all over the world who would be looking at this going, this is shorts, shorts and, ja and um, t-shirt weather. <laughs> 57 degrees. Um, and, you know, rain once in a while. It's not that big a deal. <coughs> but to me, it's cold. Um, fresh vegetables. Great water, great air. Uh, nowhere near the fires. You guys, we're nowhere near that. It's like three, four hours away. I mean, they're over now, but it's, it's not a danger here. We're real close to the coast. Salad bowl of the world. You can come out to the Steinbeck Museum. Get your Steinbeck on. Ugh. Anyway, thanks for coming and hanging out, looking at my Christmas decorations and my backyard with me and hanging out for a little bit. I feel so much better and just wanted to be able to actually talk to somebody once in a while. <coughs> Bye, all.